Hello, you two. New rune today. We're running Aftershock. I used to run this always in Season 9. Uh, it's really fun. When you land a root, you get super tanky. So we're running that here and see how it goes. Um, we're going to be going chem tank with it. So we get extra tonk. You love that overlay? Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Aftershock OP, baby! Aftershock OP! <laughs> that The threat of the Aftershock level 2, they only all into level 1 because they were so scared of the all-in level 2 threat of Aftershock. They're like, level 2, he's getting Aftershock, we're done. We're not going to be able to live the at level 2 spike. We have to all-in right now. <laughs> it's our only opportunity to all-in before Aftershock is un unlocked. <laughs> and that is why I take W level 1. You see the DPS you get out of taking W level 1, by the way? Where it's just like you have no cooldown on your spell. You can just keep going. That's why you take W level 1. If I took Q, I would have put out way less DPS. It would have been 87 damage and compared to 58 every third auto. I would have got one Q off and that would have been it. I got like 5 or 6 W procs off. If Nico becomes Nico, what does she look like? So mean? What do you mean so mean? I was just all attacking. They were the ones all inning on us. I was just freaking peeling. Nicely done. Thank you, mate. How can anybody miss if you're watching the YouTube, come check me out. I stream from 4 to 10 p.m. EST. This is D1 MMR. Yes, it's my master account, but we got a, ma a D1 MMR game. But Jeromino actually has peaked Challenger multiple seasons. I don't think he's peaked Challenger in a while, but he is still not, like, a Challenger peak player. I'm not, like, it's not multiple seasons in Challenger, so... Yeah, sure, this is a Diamond 1 MMR game, but that ain't a Diamond 1 player. Aftershock OP! I did 41 damage with Aftershock. Legit. Aftershock, if you stand on top of the enemy when you proc it, it does damage. Um, The damage of Aftershock is actually very similar to Electrocute. So if you make sure you're on top of the en enemy when Aftershock procs, you're actually not losing damage compared to Electrocute. Like, you're actually getting, like, the same damage in as if you went Electrocute. You got Ivan from a cast yesterday. It's fun to try as support. Yeah, it's really fun. Um, it's hard to play well. Um, and it's really bad until level six. But if you can make it out until six. Spirits are all around me. Aftershock OP or what? Aftershock OP or what, baby? You think I'd be alive right now without Aftershock? <laughs> you think I'd be alive right now without Aftershock? Hell no. I don't know why he keeps all inning. They have poke. 
They have a poke champ and sustain. Why not just poke us until we're low and then all in? But you know. Thank you for the follow, Jamaros. Wanna play Nico support now? You know, I make it look easy, but it's a little hard. <laughs> uh, been inspired to play new and different supports. Keep up the good work. Thank you. That's like the whole goal of me is to, you know, popularize the idea that you don't have to play what's meta to get good. What does Aftershock do exactly? So what Aftershock does is when you land CC, you get um, resists and, and tankiness. So after mode line enemy, I get armor and magic resist. So I get 30, I get 40 armor and 35 magic resist. So if I land a root, I basically just get super tanky for the next like three seconds. And then after it ends, it explodes for AOE damage. So if you land a Nico root, you get super tanky. But if you miss a Nico root, it's completely useless. And fun fact, in Season 9, when I first hit Diamond, I was doing that running Aftershock Nico. I ran Aftershock Nico until Diamond 1 in Season 9. Like, just purely running only this rune. Looking game chat. Like and subscribe if you enjoy the dog lightning content. Yes, exactly. There we go. Promoting me? Oh, promoting me in my own stream. Yes. <laughs> Huge. I don't like that Ezreal ulti. They have sustain. Actually, their healer will just boom, though. It's fine. The, the Yumi is, uh, is Oom. I remember, but playing Nico support winner is like 68% over several games. I love her. Dude, it doesn't matter if it's higher or lower MMR. Because all that matters is you're playing against people who are at your skill level. And if you're doing well against people at your skill level, then it doesn't matter, right? Like, I'm playing against people at my skill level. If you're playing against people at your skill level and winning, then it's good. No demolish. Oh, I forgot to use the demolish. You're right. I haven't run this in a while. Um, Nico's max auto attack range is longer than demolish range. So you have to get in just a bit closer if you want to proc it. I am on caffeine you are right now. I actually do not drink coffee. And I have had nothing to drink today other than a glass of water and a glass of juice. So this is actually 0% co caffeine. This is just Doge being Doge. Just your passive? What do you mean? You're confusing me. <laughs> But I appreciate it. Do you use the damage to shock or just out of range? Uh, yeah, you can see I've done 41 damage. Our first all-in, I used it. Or our second all-in. I think that you make your third auto have even more damage or no? It does, but it's only 20 damage per point. 20 damage isn't really that much. It's not worth it. This goes up by way more per point, plus the bounce damage. Like, this one, you know how this has th two bounces? Each bounce of this goes up by 20 damage per point. So, like, and that's per bounce, right? Not even just the flat when you hit it. Where this goes up by 20 damage just once when you hit it, right? But if you hit, like, a Q that gets two bounces, that's 40 damage more. Plus, each point in it goes up 25 to 70. What is that? That's, like... 45 damage or something. 40, 60. It goes up by 80 damage per point, basically. Compared to 20 damage if you put points in your W. Your W gives you more move speed, though, which is nice. Helps you find engages and stuff. Is it point in third bush? Oh, well.
I don't know about him blowing flash on Tristana there. It doesn't make sense when she has her W to get out. Well, I have my chem tank in base. So let's go get that. Uh, I haven't thought about what I want to get next, so we'll just sit on that for now. What do we get next? Hmm. Probably thorn mail, some anti heal maybe. Yeah, thorn mail sounds good. Thorn mail applies the anti heal if you CC someone. So, yeah, I think we'll go thorn mail. Hugo says Boa in English too. I'm from Brazil. I thought she only said it in Portuguese. She says a couple things in the English version. Like she says ataco, ataco, which I think means attack, attack or something. <laughs> He's like, why is this Nico so freaking tanky? <laughs> He's like blowing his full combo into me, like, oh yeah, this Nico's inting. She's about to get one shot. Waku, waku. <laughs> and then I'm just like, haha. <laughs> you don't do damage to me, buddy. Is Nami Japanese? I have no idea, Eliza. I think it's because Nico's voice actor in English is the same as that her voice in Portuguese. No idea. I mean, I'm sure she didn't get to pick her voice lines. I'm sure Riot told her what voice lines. I doubt she actually got to pick. No, my cannon. Beauty shines from inside, where the heart is. Nico is on her fourth sail. Chem tank. <laughs> I'm so tanky, man. They don't expect it. Dude, they don't expect the tankiness. I'm freaking Nico. 